Yeah. Hey guys, we got a squirrel today from Atterbury. I'm going to skin it with this old timer. It's called a uh, gunstock trapper. See how sharp it is. What did you shoot this one with? Marlin Mile 60, 22 long rifle. She's gonna think her cat got something. Probably. <clears throat> Pull the arms out. Get everything off. That's how you do it right off the face. Now, pull the legs. Blew the shoulder out. Try to hit the vitals, make sure it drop. Now we're just going to chop the legs off and put it in the fridge. That's it. Alright guys, we're going to cut the legs off. We're going to try using these side cutters here and see if they actually work. It was just an idea of mine. Boom, one done. Another one done. Let's try another one here. Bam! Now for the head, you can either take it and cut it with these or I'll just use my knife. It's a lot easier. Now you get down to the bone. You don't want to use your knife to cut the bone because it'll dull it. Except that. Now we're going to do the field dressing. Cleaning it out, the gut in this part. Now you want to take your knife, cut a slit right in the right where the ribs are. That's where about the vitals are. Cut a slit, just like a deer. Make sure you get in there. I usually just take my knife and go like that. I don't care if you cut the vitals or not. Cut up the neck part. Get in there. Now, you just hold it like that, peel out, nip the stomach there, and then you just take your fingers, spread this baby apart, yeah, rape it. Take your fingers, get all the guts out, put everything on the ground, get everything out, like that. Now, take your knife, wipe it off if you got 
track boot shoot. Just cut it right through there, make sure everything's cleaned out. It's kind of hard to see, but just make sure everything's cleaned out and good to go. Now you're good to go. You just rinse it off and do whatever you want with it. Good.